What's up guys, Maddie guys here back with another video. I'm just rotating some eggs right now before I go outside with uh, my brother Jose. We'll be out there in a second. I'm just rotating them. I don't know if I'm really doing it right, but hey, I'm giving it a shot. I don't know, man. I wish I had a one that just auto rotates. I'm trying to get a cabinet, but that's just expensive. So we will see in due time, in due time. But yeah, just some stuff that I got from the expo not too long ago. It's the shirts. I can kind of see it. Stickers. And then I got this thing. Oh, and a hat too. And this thing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I also got this shirt too. He actually took off his shirt and gave it to me. It's pretty cool. They're nice people. It was fun. I had, I had an awesome time. It was just cool talking to everyone that's like interested in the same stuff as you. You know what I mean? But it's like, it's very, uh, like I said, therapeutic. It's, it's just awesome, dog. I just, I like it. Sponsored by Big P Game Camp. But yeah, we got some birds, uh, some new birds. My brother got situated this morning because uh, my lazy ass didn't wake up in time. We got a naked neck. And then we got this pair. He's a muff with a uh, toppy, and then um, we have this rose comb kikariki. What you got going on over here, bro? Hi, new dog, the baby chicks. Looking good, buddy. Uh, I want to get him. That's OEGB. Uh, that's our game file. And those are kikarikis. They're a month old. They're like a week old. Months and some change. Eek. The goal is to change out these cages for something like that. I just gotta save them and get some wood. I don't know if I should build it two stalls or three stalls down. Got my black OEGB hands drying out over here. I'm kind of saving them for my black rooster uh, next month. I'm gonna be swapping them over. Checking on the birds. Dad and bro already did their thing. I'm actually getting rid of this hen now. I've decided to get rid of this cutie patootie. I do like her a lot, but I, I just have other uh, ideas or plans. I think I have Got my BB reds. I got some of this hen's eggs in the incubator. I'm excited. I'm excited for what's to come. Hopefully, I get some stuff through that incubator that I got through Facebook. And that's her rooster. That's her man. But yeah, just checking up on the birds. Got my Kikariki Spangle. His tail's starting to come out real nice. Come on, dude. Oh, you to see it. Oh, yeah. Looking good. And her babies are the two white chicks that y'all see. And her dad is a Spangle in the other pen or in the other cage right next to this one. And yeah, I just have them cooking up. He's like, reminds me of BB Red, really. I don't know if he's a henny or what, his feathers in the back kind of, I don't know, they look kind of hennyish. I don't know, he's still young though, only a couple months, like uh, 10, 11 months, have the spangles in here, I don't really like having all three in here, but um, it's just gonna have to do for now, I mean it's a pretty big coop for the bantams, but I do like a little extra room for them, just so that they're, you know, I really like the spangles man. His tail, his tail starting to look better too. Silver fawns. Oh wow, she's molting. Just like that, she's molting pretty bad. No oh, shit. I might take him away from her. I don't know. I don't want him to pick at her feathers. Wow, you can see the her, her around her neck. Blue feathers. I think that's what they call it. Blue feathers. I don't really want to bother them. They're both kind of molting. Even him. Well, it looks fucking sharp, boy. But yeah, guys, today's just a chill day. I'm off today and tomorrow. Um, so I'm just kind of just hanging out with the birds. I'm about to clean out the pens. And I'm just bringing out the birds. I'm putting them down on the floor while I clean the pens and they can get some sunlight while the sun's out um, for the next like two, three hours. I don't really have any drop pens, so right now I'm just using these dog pens, these dog kennels. They work, you know what I mean? They work, they're really sturdy, but I do want to get some drop pens here in the, here in the little, just so it's a little easier to put the birds in and just more, you know, more convenient. But you know, it's a, it's a want, not a need. But yeah, let me go get the rest of the pens and I'll get them built up real fast. But you toxic. Always getting in the way Catch someone I can't stand It's obnoxious I was wrong when I thought Thought you were part of the plan Now you're not Ain't got a hand on the wheel I thought it that makes me Makes me nauseous For the most part, it's two I'll get your honey bunny Give me one second I've learned that the best way to do this is um, with your hands, so gloves. But yeah, I'm just taking all this shit out, guys. Nothing, nothing really, nothing really new to it. Just cleaning chicken shit. Yeah, that's my passion. Cleaning chicken shit. That's my passion. I really have to just do this. I'm acting like I've never done this before. Oh yeah, that's the 
best way to do it right there, ladies and gentlemen. They don't wanna let her go. She try to let me know. That'd be nothing without her, but I already know what I had to do. I felt invincible, but I stick to my principles. If I don't really feel like I can't live without you, then I don't wanna live for you. Now I ain't really Just bring in a little seven dust to give it a mite if it has any mites. If there are any, just to be safe. I do not want my birds to be sick. Um, not too much. Slight glaze. So today it was the first time I saw this fucker mount anyone. Very exciting. Got them together. Yeehaw, yeehaw. Need to see what comes out. I love these things, man. Do your dance. Do your dance. Hey, hey. This is my Sumatra, man. I never really showed him some love on here, but uh, I had switched him out because he was in the cage over here. Okay. But yeah, he used to be in here, but uh, we went to my uncle's house and he gave me a Famisport Decox round head. So I got him over here and I'm excited. That, that's my, my, my only game file. But yeah, I just have him over here because he's a bit smaller than the, the, the game file. Um, I do want to get a, a longer cage for him because he does have like a, a long tail. I noticed that it kind of rushed up against the back there. Um, it is about a foot distance between the roost and the back of the cage, but Del still wounds up against it. Oh, no, I gotta get the water. You can get seven dust just at um fucking tractor supply or a, like a feed store near you. Um, and I just add this just in case because my birds um have had mites and I just want to be, you know, extra cautious because there might be a little bit around, you know, still nesting somewhere. So just to be safe. Oh, man. She's molting pretty bad, man. They're like naked neck almost. <laughs> and this guy's a scaredy cat. He's just young. I don't really touch him because he's like been molting and stuff, so I just let him do his thing. When I saw this color, I was like, I fell in love with it, so I had to get this guy. Uh, shout out to Charmitas again. I appreciate you, man. They're pretty much trained, I guess you could say. Um, like chickens, they'll just roost. For you guys who don't know, chickens will go like to the highest point they possibly can to sleep just to stay away from predators. Owls and stuff will get to them. That's why we put them in coops and stuff. But we do have some birds out and about. I don't know if you can see. Like in that tree, there's a hand. There's two hands. They're like right there. You can barely see them. But we do let a couple hands roam free. Uh, we just don't let the roosters roam free. Um, unless they're like at a certain age. Like if they're young, then we'll let them roam free. But if they're too old, then we can't. Because if not, though, they'll, they'll f try to fight through the cages. And they'll end up breaking their feet or, you know, hurting themselves. Look, get up there. Yes, sir. Nice three feet jump for them. Look at her, she's ready to get fucked. Look at that shit. When hens are ready, look at it, look. Are y'all ready, can y'all see? Look, you see how her, her wings like move to the side? They kind of just move to the side and she stops moving. All the birds are all up, it's getting late. But you can see, they are chilling. And you can see how the top looks now. No more chicken shit, yay! Love to see it. And then the bottom. That's the seven dust and the grass. And... All right, y'all, so we do have some new hatches coming out from the incubator today. Um, I do have some pine shavings in here that I'm gonna pour out. So that way they could dig a little hole for themselves, man. Look at that. See where dad's taking them from. Again, some of them just hatched, so they're still a little wet, 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 would you say that? So we're gonna leave them there to dry up before we bring them out over here. Uh, just so that way, you know, they can get used to the elements first for a little bit, you know what I mean? All right, so what I did off camera, um, I just dipped some of their beaks into into the water so that they know where to drink and how to drink for this little bitch. But yeah, I just dip it in like that, and then she could fill it on her beak, and then they'll just naturally know that it's that's where they drink and how to drink. Pretty cool. And then for over here with the food, I'll just go like this. All right, I think those are all honestly game fowl, and then that one chick right there, that small one. That's underneath that black one's ass right there, that one. You can see her. You know, these right there, covered up, right there. I think she is a Old English game. I think she's BB Red. I have them all set for the most part. I sold a lot of birds too, so. There's a lot of changes in the yard that y'all haven't seen yet, but you'll, you'll see them here soon. Ah!